Hey guys, what's up? This is Agatardi2744 here today to do an application over a truly amazing application available for the iPhone, OptTouch, and the iPad. This application is Order and Chaos Online, which is one of the most amazing online playing games, overall games for the iOS devices, if not the most amazing. Basically, it's an online MMORPG, and it's actually comparable to World of Warcraft. I am truly amazed by this application. It's a truly a revolutionizing factor in the iOS community. I never thought to this day that they would be able to make such an application for a mobile device. This application is developed by GameLoft. Let's just go ahead and get right into the review. Alright guys, so getting right into the application here, simply all you do when you get into the application is sign in in your GameLoft Live account. Those are free if you haven't created one already and you simply have to do that. Let's just go ahead and create a new character. I'm going to go ahead and select the race. I apologize about that. 20% uh, low battery. I've been using it all day. Um, to the right, it's going to have a simple description over the race. Here we have human, for example, and they both come in female and male for all the races. We have elf, orc, and the undead. I prefer the elf, so let's just go ahead and select the elf and click next. The next step is to click your class, and it has four class options, including a warrior, mage, um, basically, you know, classes basically just determine its specialities and stuff like that, ranger, and so on. I'm going to go ahead and click warrior because I prefer um, to simply use the sword. Sometimes they use um, range, but I decided not to this time. Uh, so let's just go ahead and click our skin color here, blue. Hairstyles are kind of limited, but I do assume that Gameloft will be coming out with updates in the near future with more and more stuff because this game is getting very popular. And then I'm going to go ahead and click your facial expressions, basically the face design. Go ahead and click next, and it's going to require you to go ahead and enter a name for your character. I'm going to go ahead and name it Guitar Dude YT Type right here as it is. If you guys want to add me on Order in Chaos, this is totally open up to you guys. Guitar Dude YT, if you add me, maybe we'll be online sometime, and maybe we can go out and battle monsters together or do something heroic on the Order in Chaos game. Next thing it's going to do is ask you to select a world area for you to go ahead and play in. I'm going to go ahead and select the medium area. Uh, there's four world areas, but I want to go ahead and select the medium population area because I prefer the higher population, which as you guys can see, that's the highest population it is. It'll take you back to the main menu after creating the main character, and then once it loads up here, I'm going to go ahead and click play. Click and play, it'll go ahead and load fairly quickly. Um, now there are some crashes in this application where it'll say trying to sync or whatever and I have high speed internet here So I don't have slow internet by any means uh, You do have to be connected to the internet in order to play this application because it is based on the online MMORPG Now it's gonna go ahead and take you through a quick tutorial basically showing you how things work uh, How to jump how to maneuver yourself through the game and what to do in the game and what the game is uh, please do keep in mind that this is a longer application review and it's kind of hard to review an online MMORPG game. I won't be able to focus on every single thing about this game because it is a very hard and complicated game to review because it is so detailed. Now as you guys can see, the simple pinch in and pinch out is to zoom in or out to your character. So it fits the screen pretty well, allowing you to do this. Like I said, it is available for the iPhone or iPod Touch and the iPad. Obviously, gameplay is a little bit better on the iPad because it has a bigger screen. As you guys can see, I'm rotating through some of these specialities in which it has. It also has the chat in the middle, and you can go ahead and participate in the chat if you'd like. Uh, the maps here, which you can navigate through, find out where you are. The world is quite big. Uh, going in the bag here with your items, character settings, um, quests that you have entered. And yes, there are quests in here. Um, spells in which like I said the rotation around the controller over there has that your social you can add your friends build guilds teams whatever and then your options for the game as well as to go back to the main menu what's really cool about this game is that it has four servers over 500 quests 1,000 different skills to learn over 2,000 articles of equipment and like I said it also has guilds so you can go through and you can battle here with your friends and for the most part it has no stalling whatsoever if you have a good internet connection. As you guys can see clicking on a, another player you get options to chat with them. Um, there is kind of trouble, I'm having kind of trouble um, controlling it through the iPhone or iPod touch screen because it is a smaller screen and with such a detailed application it's a little hard to use with this game. So I'm going to go ahead and click hello to this person. As you guys can see, the person's icon showed up right next to mine, basically meaning that I am whispering to him in a way. Um, in this game, if you guys can't tell already, it's very related to World of Warcraft. The designs of it, 
Everything about it is very related to it. Let's just go ahead and get in some battling. And here's some wolves, and there's a variety of different animals and monsters, beasts, whatever you want to call them, on Order in Chaos Online. Let's just go ahead and select the wolf. And like I said, with these smaller devices, it's a little harder to play. I assume you'll get used to it in the near future. Um, by double-clicking on the wolf, you go ahead and hit it. And like I said, there are specialities like, uh, as you guys can see right there, that's the one that comes default, and you earn more as you go along. You simply kill the beast, and there's a little bit stalling here, so like I said, that does happen every now and then. Continuing the battle, basically, every time you battle, you level up. And let's say you want to battle a person against you, you just go ahead and hit the battle icon, and they get the option in order to uh, accept that battle option. So if they don't want to battle you, they don't have to battle you. You can't battle characters unless you send them a battle invite. Like I said, it is kind of based off World of Warcraft, I'd say. But it's amazing that they take such a detailed application. They use everything about iOS devices, all the graphics, all the sound effects, everything about it, all the resolution and everything they use on iOS devices, and they take full advantage of it with this application. As you guys can see, even underwater, you can go swimming underwater. This is just like World of Warcraft, like I said. It's really, really cool that... You can play a game like this that is so high detailed on a mobile device. I never thought I'd see this happening. I mean, within the next five years, I didn't even think it would be happening. But Gameloft did a truly revolutionizing thing. And as you guys can see, simple controls, right to turn left and right. And what we just ran into right here is a server error. And unfortunately, this happens every now and then. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer than you'd expect to... Um, go back online, unfortunately, it really does suck that you can be in the middle of battling with some of your friends online, which I've done before, and then it says synchronizing with the server, please wait, which really sucks. Um, so I'll be right back, I'm gonna go ahead and skip through, reconnect, this is one of the problems with the application I don't like. Uh, it looks like we just reconnected to the server, gonna go ahead and click yes to the menu, um, it's gonna load up to the menu, basically whenever it disconnects to the server it'll ask you to go ahead and re-log in it'll reconnect to the server you know it's kind of a pain in the butt but with such a big application on here even with high speed internet you might die sometimes so as you guys can see on the main menu here um, there's actually a selection for a subscription you buy the application but then you have to buy a subscription because you only have a premium membership until for example 828 of 2011 which is what i have um, so the script subscription costs about 99 cents a month, as you guys can see right there. You can also buy things like rune stones and gold, so you can buy things within the game itself uh, with actual money. So here's the character, very nice interface on the menu to view the character. Like I said, you can go ahead and click play. Overall, amazing. Thank you for watching my review of Her Order in Chaos Online for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and the iPad. Please stay tuned by subscribing for more of the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad, including an Order in Chaos Online gameplay video, which will be up in a few days. Please be sure to go ahead and visit in the description below. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Please also be sure to leave your comments and your thumbs up to show your support. That will be much appreciated. Thank you guys for watching. This is Agatardi2744.